I cannot see deadly squat with these old patrol headlights. Wait, what? What is that on the road? Is that a, is that a Sasquatch? What in the? That's not a. That's not a bloody Sasquatch. Steady Iris headlights. Instincts going no looking bad like a bat with an eye patch. All black in the woods with a backpack and a lip match. Time to the whole city looking like a dark set of woods when I'm burning you down. But it is what it do hope. All right, let's see how these things go at night. These are some seriously bright lights. All right, g'day guys. Today we're going to be replacing the crappy old candle lights on the GQ with a fresh set of Steady Iris seven inch headlights. As you guys know, anyone of you that drive a GQ Patrol, you know that the factory headlights aren't that good. So I've been looking around thinking of buying a new set of headlights for a fair while now. You know, you're always hearing about steady lights. Everyone says they're well made and last the distance compared to just your eBay cheapos and that sort of thing. So I managed to get my hands on a set. They always sell out super quick. So yeah, let's chuck them in. All right, so first step, got to take the grill off. So I'm just going to start pulling out the screws in the bottom first and then there's these little clips on top. So they're just like a little square that you have to rotate a quarter of a turn with a Phillips head so that they fit through the, the little hole. Uh, as you always do when you work with electronics, you're going to disconnect a uh, negative terminal. But in our case, we might also have to disconnect these winch power cables because they're threaded through the grill so we won't be able to pull the grill off. All right. I can't see because all the winch cables are in the way. Maybe I might have to untake this off. I feel like it's not meant to be this hard to pull out on preschool. I reckon the big mode is just like... Uh, yeah, I'd get to that now. This is just for my car. This King's receiver box is in a really poor position. So we just undid that so that we can have full clearance uh, to pull the grill out. So already that has made... Oh, look, it's cable tied on. The grill's cable tied. That's, That's why, why it wouldn't come out. Yep. All right, so obviously, because we're pulling the grill out, indicator plugs have to come off. These probably have been taken off in their life, but there you go, there's one. Oh, there you go. And then, da -da -da -da. now we can see the front of the car. It's bare. Looks so much different without the grill, don't you reckon? <laughs> All right, what the hell is that? That is a wine cork inside. I don't even know what that is, like the radiator support. <laughs> Why? So now that's off, now you can pull lights out. They're all <laughs> rusted. Actually, man, I don't want to snap any of these. Ah, oh, yeah. All right, there's a spring, and there's our light clip. Oh, it literally just unplugs. All right, there's our old headlight. Now, as you can see, another reason I wanted to replace headlights, although these are meant to be, like, you know, sealed from factory, mine did get water in it, doing, I think it was when I must have been doing a river crossing or something. So, and that hasn't come out. So I don't know where the leak is, because it used to be, like, up to there. Alright, second light. This one doesn't have water in it, you'll notice. Alright, so so yeah, these are the steady 7-inch IS headlights. Now the thing about these, unlike a lot of other eBay lights or LED lights and replacements, these are ADR approved. And so that's good because when you buy um, eBay lights and stuff that aren't ADR approved, that can lead to a defect, potentially. So that's why it's good just to go with something that's ADR approved, so you know you're going to be safe from any sort of problems with the boys in blue. <laughs> Yeah, so as you can see on the back, it's literally just a straight swap, nice and easy. And this blue light, that's for the daytime running light, because this obviously has the LED uh, white halo ring around the edges. So that can just be wired up to like your parkers or ignition, or however you want to do it. We're thinking we're going to do it onto the ignition, but then probably through a switch as well, so that, I don't know, for whatever reason, if I want to turn them off or whatever, we'll have the ability to do that. Yeah, so we, this outer assembly is what we need to be able to mount them. Now this is... Oh. Jesus, tight. That's what happens when they sit for however old this car is, 24 years old. They rust and they strip, so yeah, I have to be careful. I don't want to strip these screws. Yeah, so with all those screws undone, the top little chrome ring comes off and then this comes off the back, which is like your other side of the holder. All right, so I've just sat the light in the bucket and lined up the pins and put the chrome little, what do you want to call it, little lip on top and then should be able to screw this up. Seems weird to put such a nice new light in such a crappy old light bucket. All right, and that's the light in. And now let's do a reference fit up. 
see if all the holes line up. That will go through to there, that'll go through to there, and that little spring will sit on the back. Perfect. That'll do it. Easy. All right, let's go mount up the next one. Chrome ring. All right, so that should be lo both lights inside their mounting cases, if that's what you want to call them. So now we should be able to fit them up and plug them in. Then we can reassemble the car, then we can start putting everything back together. They've got the appropriate pin, so they're direct plug in, like, like so. Then we just feed this little wire back through the back for now because we'll be needing that later. Little spring goes on in the back there, and then should be able to throw these screws in. So this is how you adjust the like, whether you want the lights to point outwards a little bit, or like point down a little bit, or like point up. So you're pretty much just going, I'm just gonna go to where the old screw line is, but it's pretty much to where they're straight. That's the lights in. So now we can put everything back together and then hook up our daytime running lights. So let's get into that. All right. So you may notice that it is the next day. Now, bit of a situation. So what happened was we started doing the wiring and stuff and all of a sudden, you know, Melbourne weather started absolutely pissing down. So, and cause we're working outside, electronics, not really ideal. So we unfortunately had to pack it up for the day, but we come back today and it's still pretty crappy weather, but it is all wired up. So we're gonna run you through sort of how we did it. Um, so pretty much to start off, yeah, with these lights, it's, you can wire up the daytime running lights in a few different ways. You can do them to just your parkers if you want them to come on with your parkers, or you can do them to the ignition or another external source. So we did it to the ignition, but we also wanted a switch. All right, so because we are running a switch to turn on and off the running lights, we've tapped into a, a wire that only comes on with the ignition. So they're not gonna be, it's not gonna be connected when the car's off. And then we've run that to our switch. And then from the switch, this will run back to the relay. And then that way, when this is on, it'll turn on the wire from the battery to the lights. Yeah, right, you get on that side. Hey. Of course it's raining. Bloody hell. See, this is, we can't escape this weather. <laughs> All right, come out and hold it, Patrick. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's nasty. <laughs> Alright, so grill's back on, everything's been cleaned up, so um, let's go take it for a drive and see what they look like. Yeah, they're just, compared to the old lights, it's like day and night, like literally. Heaps better spread, um, and being white light, everything stands out a bunch more. And on spotties, it's like having king spotties on the front of your car. a kangaroo. Uh, it's like having king spotties, literally just running the whole time. Like my new spotlights now do like nothing, just distance, but the spread's grouse on them. And uh, even on the low beam, grouse spread. And it's good because I've noticed that they've got it in a beam so that you're not blinding out all the other drivers. So they sit, there's like a defined line where you can see the light sits below. So yeah, bloody stoked with them. All right, so thanks for sticking around and buying off the other stickers. We've got another heat going off today. So thanks for all your support. Honestly, it means the world to us. So thank you. All right guys, so that's the steady light upgrade for the old GQ. Um, as you've seen, they're grouse, they look cool. Yeah, stoked to them. So if you like what we're doing, make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like, 
and um, see you in the next one.